Hi, welcome back to Gavin's Sonics B. Well, after the last video, somebody asked me a question. So thank you, John Jensen, for asking the question. He said to me, I can't see how the back edges of the wings attach to the fuselage. And that's a very good point, John, because I'd completely forgotten to build that bit. And uh, <laughs> you reminded me <laughs> that I needed to do it. Um, it's not actually used and not uh, installed into the uh, fuselage um, as an assembly until the wing rigging is done. And so it won't actually be installed um, into the fuselage until I've moved the aircraft to the hangar. Because uh, I can't put the wings on here, haven't got enough room. So, um, the part in question is called the rear spar carry through assembly, um, and it spans the distance between the two sides of the fuselage adjacent to the slots where the tag on the back end of each wing um, passes into the fuselage. So, we'll have a look at the fuselage and the slots and then uh, whip up briefly upstairs and have a look at the tags that stick out of the wings and then we'll come down and have a look at the parts to make the uh, rear spar carry through assembly and then we'll make it so uh, here we go i'll just turn the camera around so here's the trusty fuselage and on the outside of the fuselage on each side there is a slot at the back of the Ford um, fuselage assembly and there's one on the other side as well and on the wings there's a tag that sticks out and that passes through the slot um, and we'll go and have a look at the wings a second so here we are up on the mezzanine which is above our lounge area down there and uh, this is where the wings are in storage at the moment there's my keyboard and uh, they've been sitting up here waiting for the moment when they get installed onto the aircraft now this is the forward edge of the wing we're currently looking at the bottom of the wing and at the trailing edge is the tag that sticks out and attaches to the rear spar carry through assembly so that's what it looks like and so we'll go back to the workshop now so back in the workshop and here are the parts and the drawings for the rear spar carry through assembly. And basically it comprises of a channel which runs from one side to the other side of the forward fuselage. There is a, a shear plate or a shear angle which attaches it to the front edge of the tail cone then we have a stiffener angle which runs across the top of the channel then there are these two parts which are uh, where the actual bolt goes through um, I don't know what you'd call those I don't think they've got a name actually but there we go um, couple of spacers that we've had to make up for it um, and these are the angle fittings which again the main bolts go through and uh, a couple of small spacers which we've had to cut out of some thin sheet um, these two over this end are the attach angles and uh, once the wing rigging is complete and everything's in place and the wings are straight these two attach onto the rear spar carry through assembly 
and the side of the aircraft and lock it all in place. And again, the, the main bolt that uh, secures the um, tag on the back of the wing goes through this part, this part, this part, and this part, um, and this part as well, actually. So I've already um, assembled all these bits and uh, drilled out the holes that are, are needed to be drilled, made the spaces that need to be made. And so what I'll do is I'll pop it all together with some Clecos and we'll have a look at, look at it assembled. And as if by magic, hey presto, and it's all Clecos together. So looking at one end, we've got the, the channel. On top of that is this part, which has no name. <laughs> and then there's a spacer and then the angle on top and this basically leaves a gap between the two parts which the tag in the back end of the wing slots into and then ultimately there will be a bolt or a, a pin through here moreover the attach angles, which this is the left hand one, will ultimately fit on the other side, like so, and we'll have the hole drilled right the way through that as well. And this edge will be riveted to the side panel of the Ford fuselage. The little spacers go in here to make up the distance between this part and the attach angle. So that's basically the assembly, it's the same at both ends and we've got the shear plate or the shear angle running across here. Looking at it from the other side it looks a bit like this. This being the top, that being the bottom. And then when we go to place it in the aircraft, it will be running across here like that, from one side to the other. All looks good. So to answer your question, John, this is the rear spar carry-through assembly. And that's the bit I had forgotten to make. What I'm going to do now is to uh, rivet it and bolt it as far as I can go. And we can install the rivets across the top here. We can't put the rivets in for um, this section. Um, purely because we've got to be able to take it apart to deburr it after we finally drill out the holes to their correct size. Um, at the moment they're drilled at 316 and their final size will be quarter once we've done the wing rigging. Um, and we can pop some bolts in temporarily to hold everything together. But they'll have to come out again, obviously, when we strip it down to uh, deburr it. One little issue that I found, or I think I've found, is that the hole here, which is for the elevator push rod to pass through, I believe should be in the centre. The centre being where that Clico is at the moment. Clicos on the other side and if you can see the hole is actually offset to one side and I've got to check this out but I'm pretty sure it should be in the middle and I've marked on here where the edge of the hole should be and uh, I'm probably going to have to elongate that um, to clear the 
push rod but we'll see I'll uh, double check it and I'll let you know what happens anyway I'm going to do a bit of um, riveting and uh, put a few bolts in and then we'll have a look at it afterwards so there it is the rear spar carry through assembly which is riveted as far as I can go bolted as far as I can go um, is held in there with some Clecos at the moment um, and um, provides the connection between the rear of both wings and the attach angle if we get hold of the right hand attach angle ultimately will be in there like that riveted to the side panel riveted to the carry through and the bolt for or the pin to hold the uh, rear of the wing on will go right through the whole lot but we can't drill that or fit that until we do the uh, the attachment of the wings so there we go i hope that's um cleared up how, how the wings the rear edge of the wings are held on and uh, it'll be interesting to see how it works out when we uh, finally do the uh, attachment of the wings and uh, hope everything lines up anyway i'll leave you with that and uh, next i'm going to have a look at the control stick um, and the elevator push rods um, just make sure that all that is good and fits um, had some problems trying to find a, a number one and number two taper pin reamer. Um, either it's called something completely different in France or those type of taper pins aren't in common use here. Um, I can find them on uh, many American sites but uh, I've tried translating it into French um, had a look on uh, on some engineering um, websites can't find anything similar um, so I've ordered something which I think will do the job um, it's uh, should be arriving in the next couple of days when it gets here we'll have a look and see whether or not it will do the job um, otherwise I'm going to have to think again about how to how to fit the taper pins to the control stick assembly anyway that's another day and another video so from me at Gavin Sonics B see you later